Alrighty guys, welcome back. We've got a special treat for you again. We are back on the game with the hillbilly prior to his changes being implemented in the game. Now, I, I did originally want to come to this map because I saw a survivor with a key, but when I mentioned the survivor had a key, the key disappeared and it was too late for me to change. Now, that generator is underneath being worked on by one survivor. How do I know there's one person on it? Based on the fact I have discordance, I'll have information. Now, I have to be careful because I have a good gut feeling that these guys have a good understanding of what perks I am running right now. Now, I'm not running Ruin for any form of stability. Generators can be completed against me here. Unfortunately, it looks like I went the wrong way, but I'm not the only one. I'm going to hide our light a little bit, see if we can get her to hesitate. I'm going to come in with a saw, and down she goes. Discordance upstairs. Let's pick her up, let's hook her, and let's go straight to Towards the discordance with pop goes the weasel two people can get a jetty done really quick against me based on the fact i have nothing to stall the objectives at the start of the trial like ruin all right now i do want to regress her gen 2 but let's see what information we have across the board right now now these are what i would call the strongest add-ons in the game for it that is unlucky that this whole room is sealed off and they can maybe complete this gen if they greed for it but it would appear somebody already dropped underneath me we'll get regression on this right now we're going to come right up through this area here and see if we see scratch marks coming in. We do. We're going to follow these scratch marks, but we're going to follow them from above. I reckon she's coming up through here. See if we can cut her off. Hi, cutie. No, you're not here? Ooh. I reckon you were close. I don't know where she went then. I want to go check on that other guy's generator underneath. I reckon that other gen has been tapped right now. There's a staircase here. I reckon she's playing towards this staircase then. We know she was underneath. We know we physically saw her. We know we were tracking her scratch marks. Looks like we can't really make a play here. Tell you what, I'm going to regress the gen and go across the board. I know there's somebody going to be working on that other thing, but I am going to go upstairs. I expect somebody to attempt to trade right now. There you go. We're going to make sure we get this saw trade. Notice how I just sidestepped into him to make sure I took the body block hit. We're going to go all the way across, let this guy get saved almost instantly, and apply pressure straight towards that generator that originally had two people on it. We know we've got to go to the right and not the left, so we've got to kind of curve here, but we're not going to be able to. Unfortunately, I haven't rebound my keys on that. Look, that looks to be Discordance on a Jenny over here too. Discordance did let go. No real point in me using my... Oh, there you go, guys. We shouldn't be grouping up this close together. I do have a very fast chainsaw, and I don't want to commit to a tunnel here. If I could split pressure, I would definitely do it. No pallet, sweetie. I checked earlier. Made sure we sidestepped into her to apply the pressure. Jenny doesn't need anything. Don't need my pop goes the weasel. Let's pick him up. Let's take him to a hook. Now, I'm not running barbecue either. I normally do run barbecue on the build that I'm currently running now. Not that I oftenly run this kind of jazz. Now they got one generator done. Remember, we do have pop. We can use that. We're going to go right through to that. The good thing is Discordance is a very uncommon perk to run on a map like this. All right, let's see if we can get another saw down here. You got a pallet. Let's see what happens. Let's go for the twist. And down she goes. She greeted for it. She pays the price. Get regression on the generator. The other guy gets saved and we'll pick him up and hook. She thought I'd respect the pallet. That was her mistake because she ran around the wall in a predictable manner. So we just cuddled the wall against her yet again. Now we don't have barbecue, unfortunately. I did forget to put it on, like I said, but we have pop instead. We're also running Iron Maiden for the people that try and counter us by getting in lockers. They've grouped, they've stacked, they've healed. Good information for me. I'm going to come through on the right hand side. I didn't set those off. Very lucky, Claudette, my dear. Very, very lucky, sweetheart. Ooh, she took spacing. Gonna get a pallet out of the way, gonna sidestep as well. I might just take an M1 on her and let go and apply pressure towards objectives. I'm gonna take this pallet and then end chase. Got my pallet, ending chase. Like I said, somebody already ran through the middle of the map. That was a... Nice, let's come all the way through. Let's drop right here. Unfortunately, I feel like I'm chasing the injured guy, but I'm back trying to apply pressure straight away. I think I am chasing the injured guy. I don't want to hook him. I don't want him to feel like he was tunneled off hook. I will slug him though. Ooh, I kind of stuffed that up. That was really bad of me because of the chest I had to flick really hard. I'm losing out on my pop now. I need to let go of this chase. I'm going to break the pallet and I'm going to go. None of them stacking on gens right now. They could all be working on a different one. Not the ones upstairs, so I'm going to instantly drop down now. Let's check on one of these two. Rather than overcommitting to a chase, I'd rather play smarter. Let go of certain chases. Hi. Walk right up behind her with it. Make sure we're getting it. That's it. Got the curve. Infectious Fright. Let's see if we can get a free pallet out of it. 
Hide my light. Ooh. Bad play, because there's no pallet here. She has to do a 180 and somehow get over there. Three sets of scratch marks, including the one that I downed. Yep. Take another pallet out of the way. Done. Dusted. Let's go get myself a hook on this player down here. Now the pallet is done. She's crawled a little bit away. The other two could be pumping through that with Discordance. So I have 45 seconds to get upstairs and towards that generator. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time. But, and I have got another hook for it. Still got three Jennings left. Eating a lot of the pallets. Feeling pretty good. Check it to the right. Don't know where you went. Well played, darling. There you go. Good effort. Let's take this saw on her. Sometimes you just got to be a little bit patient with it. Let's pick her up. The other gen's nowhere near done, so I'm not going to worry about using pop on it. We'll take the hook. We'll go upstairs where those other two guys are stacking to the right-hand side right now. We're actually going to chainsaw right up through here. Pretty sure this wall is closed. Very bad for me. I can break that pallet too. One person upstairs. Two people upstairs. We get our regression. We force them to vault. We go break the pallet and then we move. The guy's been saved. They're stacking on gens in two different areas of the board. Unfortunately, it appears that I have double sealed doors, which is really unlucky. Good dead hard, but we got the body block on it too. Let's take her out. Only reason she'd stack is if she has DS. She played towards the shack. I need to let... Oh, and it's not the shack, sorry. Let's take her out as well. She got a key. Alright, I need to make a decision between a generator and getting DS and a player running around with a key right now. I'm not going to make this back in time. I'm too far away. Yeah, I'm too far away. Too many obstacles. But I got this girl here in the middle of the map who will be in struggle. I'm going to let that one gen go for this. That's her down. That's that generator gone. Let's pick her up. Got to be mindful of this key, right? It's important. It could be what either wins or loses me the trial. Let's hook her right here. I don't want anyone to know that she's running around with a key. And no one's gonna know because she's dead. I set that off. Scratches to my right hand side all the way through. Let's cut through as well. They got the revive. All injured. They know I've got a really fast source so they're not stacking on healing. She's gonna work on that gen. This one's gonna run away. I'm gonna get one pallet and go back in for that gen. Get the pallet out of the way nice and quick. We know roughly where we gotta go. We got another one here. I can actually mind game this I think. Down she goes. We've got one upstairs on the objective, one near the basement. Let's get a pallet out of this as well. Out into the right-hand side. Sidestep. See if she doubles back. She doesn't. Let's get the chainsaw down on Claudette. She's the only one on full health. Might get Pop Goes the Weasel out here too. Didn't even have to curve. The other guy's getting saved. That's fine. We're going to get regression on this. We're going to hook Claudette. And that puts us in a good spot. Other guys picked up. More regression. Another stack of pop floating around as well. Letting go of certain chases to apply pressure elsewhere when I need to. Claudette is now in a sticky situation. You're out of position. I don't know if that was the right call because I have Thompson mix and I can recover. But I can't recover quick enough apparently. She had to double check. That's good. She's going to have to do the same thing again. Let's pull it up. Couldn't curve quick enough, unfortunately, but we knew exactly what she was going to do and how she was going to do it. Thompson is going to allow me to cover quick. That also being said, we know she has dead hard. Let's see the dead hard. There it is. Going to take a hit in the back here. I saw Infectious Fright as well. I got the pallet out of the way. Double people. Discordant stacking. Jen was nowhere near done. They can't leave to the left, so they got to go down. Sprint burst and one down the staircase. We'll take another pallet. We'll break the other pallet and we'll play off that. Unfortunately, I wasn't quick enough to get my pop, I don't think. I was a millisecond off. Yep, just a millisecond off pop goes the weasel. It's unfortunate. Crow been disturbed. Somebody's over here trying to heal him up. Let's take the farm. Infectious Fright tells me the other guy's downstairs. Another pallet I have time to get. Not going to respect, just going to walk right through. Dead hard, show it to me. Made sure we sidestepped it as well, in case she tried to play to the pallet. Now the other one was originally downstairs near this generator, so I'm going to try and curve in. Unfortunately, I can't curve with my mouse there. I didn't rebuy my keys to Q&E either with a turn. And what do you know, the gen is nearly done. Therefore, Claudette is waiting 
right underneath us. Looks like she's running in, trying to help her teammate. It's going to make sure it's a trade when I go for this hit. Scratches are pretty fast. She did have Sprint Burst, so she might be able to get away with this, but she will be exhausted as a price. Ooh, bad play by me. Really bad play by me. Also running Iron Will. She also has the key while the other one's getting saved right now. No, she doesn't have a key. She's just injured. Looks like she had a key. Doesn't have balanced landing. I know she's got dead hard. <laughs> Down goes Claudette. Claudette will be eliminated on death hook if I choose to pick her up. But I'm going to come over here where there's other another two survivors to deal with. Going to keep that as my momentum. Dead hard. Nice into a wall. Infectious Fright telling me exactly where you are if you choose to wait, sweetheart. Are you going to be waiting or are you going to be vaulting? Looks like you already took the vault nice and early. I'm going to come down right behind you as well. Could have tried to cut her off, but we didn't know if she was going to wait up the top. Saw a little bit of blood. Going to be coming in. This is right now just a trade and just an endurance game with me. Hopefully forcing a, a, a trade with Thego. There goes our sprint burst to the right. Other one to the left. Alright, we know the other guy's going to go back to his gen. It's nearly done upstairs because I never got it with Pop Goes the Weasel. Unfortunately, I couldn't make that. Yeah, I'm gonna get the pallet for free now, though. She's in a corner with nothing to work with. No dead hard. She's eliminated or down. Claudette's on that generator all the way over there, so I know exactly where I can chainsaw to because there's a staircase that leads straight up downstairs. There we go, right here. We should cut Claudette off right now. There's our Claudette. I think she wasted her sprint purse in the wrong direction, thinking I was going to be coming from upstairs. And that's going to be what comes in with a slugging 4k at the end of the trial. No dead heart, no worries, and we can hear the other one crawling. So she was close to the other player as well. That was all about changing directions in my chases as well. It just goes to show you, they worked well, they split up. I still had so much pressure, I ate a lot of the pallets, I had multiple Jennings left, I had multiple opportunities to eliminate a player, but it wasn't the right time to take a player out of the trial. Constantly moving around, constantly applying the pressure towards them, getting a pallet, getting a hit. I know a lot of people think this map is actually not good for a killer, but I honestly do think this is the strongest map in the game for killers. Now what we need to do is we need to hear for this other girl crying underneath. I know I- Oh, I can hear in my right eardrum. There she goes. Now you know the rules, if I can hear the hatch while I'm taking her to the hook, I will give her the hatch. Let's see if it's her lucky day. Unfortunately, beautiful, I cannot hear the hatch, therefore there will be no hatch. This just goes to show you why the Billy is looking at getting a little bit of a rework. Now, we're versing some pretty competent survivors. They split pressure. There was a lot of pallets to go through, but me not overcommitting to my chases was quite crucial. Knowing Claudette was going to come back to her journey that was nearly done because I never got a pop as a weasel, so I could cut her off from parting that I saw earlier on in the trial where I knew I had a straight shoot through at 230% movement speed. Realistically, the most important thing to winning a game of Dead by Daylight isn't necessarily slugging, isn't necessarily tunneling or camping, it's time management and when you let go of chases. Now, I am only at rank 3 based on the fact rank reset. I haven't played a lot of killer recently, but I just want to say GG's well played. This might be one of the final games we play with Billy, running what I possibly think are some of the strongest add-ons in the game for Billy. The Thompson mix and the tuning guide. Alternatively, you also have the Doom and Death engravings. That being said, we walk away with just shy of a double pip. That being said, if I let go of my chases a little bit easier, you guys would have been able to see this coming up all the way. Anyways, it was a rank 3 game. The guys played well. They're all rank 1, as you guys can see. Multiple decisive strike. This is a visual bug. It was actually perks. They dead-hearted us, for example, so you guys don't have to worry about that as well. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. If you're watching over at YouTube, make sure you slap that subscribe button. My name is Fungus. Summon Educational DVD Killer Main. We don't always do games where we're running great add-ons like this. We do do games with the bare bones stuff as well, teaching you how to how to light, how to moonwalk, how to make these kind of great plays, when to go for a body block when to let go of chases anyways guys if you want to pop into the live stream where i stream dvd five days a week i do stream it over at twitch and you guys can help me teach the people that don't know too much about dead by daylight if you think you know a lot about it as well anyways guys gg's well played and i'll see you in the fog in the next video